the whole history of Bath is based on the waters. Without that initial medical beginning, Bath wouldn't really exist. So what we at the Bath Medical Museum are trying to do is to embrace that history from medieval to modern, to bring together maybe dentistry, maybe um, from some stuff from St John's, or we, d we do work with St John's, uh, just to bring that all together in one place, including the lovely collection that we've got here, which we have inherited f via the RUH from the Mineral Hospital. Yes, of course, this is a building with uh, a great history and, and very much the people's hospital because is. this is where the, the poor came to be treated. It is indeed, and I think we need to respect that history and to maintain that history. We can't lose that history. It's, it's too important to the city. What is the issue affecting you now, your future? Our future as Bath Medical Museum is fairly secure because we are in the process of um, charitable status. We have a good working group. We have a good board of, of trustees and some very helpful people working for us and with us. But our biggest problem is that this beautiful hospital is on the open market now, that the Mineral Hospital has been uh, joined together with the IOH. So from the point of view of um, the Medical Museum, we aren't really sure where we are going to end up at the moment. We are we're looking for a rather wealthy benefactor. So if you know one, by any chance, could you point them in our direction, please? So it is, it is important to get as much publicity uh, as possible to really let Bath know how your future is threatened, uh, that you have a collection with nowhere to go. Uh, yes, at the moment we do have a collection with nowhere to go, but we are such a group that we have every intention of finding a home uh, somewhere in the city. You do have some amazing things here. I've been oh. in before. And of course, you, you've got patients' records going back we, to we the have, 18th have, century. Yes, we have some patients' records. Unfortunately, um, quite a few of them were destroyed, but we have um, a lovely uh, record book. We have a lovely account book, which tells us uh, what herbs the, the apothecary was buying, what goods were needed, uh, what were brought into the hospital. So from that point of view, um, yes, we've got some lovely stuff here. Um, and, and we're hoping that the, the, the kind people who are making donations to us at the moment will continue. We've just received a, a medical bag from the 1930s. Uh, Dr. John Kirkup has given us many, many things. Um, and we're very grateful to him for that. Uh, our chairman of the uh, trustees is Dr. Roger Rolls, who of course has written the history so, you know, we, we are very lucky in what's going on here. There will be, obviously, people watching this wondering what it is behind your head. I suppose that's one of the biggest exhibits, artefacts it, you have here. It's, it's the biggest one we have here, yes. There are some other ones lurking around in the town that uh, will be coming to us eventually. But uh, this is the sedan chair, and it was used to take the patients from the mineral hospital down to the spa the waters. Um, you will notice that there's rather a large lump, a bulbous piece on the front. This is for people who had poorly legs, or so that people with poorly legs would not get hurt in the, in the uh, journey while they were being carried by two hefty young men. And of course the other thing is, as far as the building is concerned, is just across the road, you, you may be moving on as a museum, but just across the road is the last bit of uh, medieval city walls yes, still existing yes. and it owes its existence to uh, some of the people who didn't make it. Exactly, yes, the uh, graveyard is over the other side and we would, this is really you know, why we'd like to stay in this area. There is, there's so much uh, connection with the medical history of Bath in this area. Underneath the other building of the hospital, of course, is the, uh, the water uh, and the pipes are under there. Um, and, uh, a tunnel yeah. going right yes, the way down yes, to yes, the pump Yes, loop. yes. Um, so you know, the, 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 there is a lot of history in this, these two buildings. 
that uh, we would like to maintain as much as we can. And so we're hoping that whoever buys it appreciates that that, that history is important and maybe might feel inclined to include us in that, their plans. Why do you and the other volunteers here feel so passionate about this medical museum? I think it's because it's one of the few collections like this in the country. Um, the Wellcome Trust obviously has got quite a big collection. Um, Cambridge University and Oxford University have both got collections. But apart from, I think, Leeds, that's it. Unless somebody else knows something that we don't know. But it, it's, it, it is actually an important collection, you know, medical history. It's, it's included in lots of other museums as an also ran sort of thing. But there is no, nowhere that has a collection quite like this.